Come on in. It's tea time. Yeah, you heard me right. It's time for a glorious cup of wise women's tea. Hey, we're getting some great testimonials. One of them said it cured Alzheimer's. <laughs> anyway, I'm just laughing. There's a placebo effect in everything, y'all. So, uh, I don't a bit more believe that in the man and the moon, but I think coconut oil will. <laughs> anyway, y'all get on in here. I got a roll of toilet paper right beside me from my from my bag yesterday. I forgot to put back in the bag. I think I'll use this one up and put a clean one, put a different one in that's not all chopped up to pieces. Anyway, there's Miss Laura. Y'all drink up. So I gotta put my microphone on. I forgot it. There we go. There we go. Anyway, I've been laughing all afternoon. Robert went to the grocery store this morning and I got hamburger meat cooking in the crock pot with a couple of onions and it's smelling good in this house. Main thing we want to do is get a few things in the freezer because you never know when you're going to get snowed in or the creek's going to rise and just say prayers for people in Knoxville, not Knoxville, Nashville. There are a lot of people lost their lives last night. Tornadoes in the middle of the night is a dangerous thing, y'all. It's a bad thing. And when that happens, if you don't have your phones beside you and with the alarm ready, you know, an alarm to go off, it's, it's hard. It is really hard to be prepared. And I guess part of our more, let me get in my chair, uh, part of our before bed routine should be to check the weather. That's kind of what we do the last minute. I didn't even know there was a storm. Usually I call people I love that live in Nashville or Knoxville or Chattanooga, you know, and I usually pick up the phone and say, heads up about the weather. That's pretty much all I say. And they watch it on their own. Just there's been a lot of, um, a lot of things that there's cell phone towers down and people aren't able to get in touch with one another. But did you know, guess what? On the ready.gov site, the government's site, you can set up communications connections with people. Say you're going through a hurricane or flooding like in Houston with Hurricane Harvey and all these things. There's a communication area on the ready.gov site where you can set up a way to communicate with people so you can let your family know you're okay. Earthquake, you name it. Check it out. Check it out and see, see what you can come up with because it's a great way to not be panicked because usually cell phones don't work. Landlines, most people don't have landlines anymore. We still have a landline, but we rarely answer the phone because we've got call identification. Oh, let's see. The Samaritan's Purse deployed first thing this morning to help those affected. Mm. Well, we've just got to be ready. Be ready for storms. Her, her tornadoes happen fast. They happen fast. And my son's a weatherman and we didn't even we didn't even know that the storm was coming. So I've got people that live close to Cookville. Laura lives close to Cookville or I think it's close to Cookville. Anyway, y'all just be prepared. Be aware of bad weather that's coming. We've got flood warnings now. So folks, I have my little tea. I'm going to stir it with my little silver spoon. Makes me happy. I love my little tea bag. Little round tea bag. It's so cute. Anyway, I'm going to leave that right there. Oh, so it's too hot to drink right now. Let me tell you a little story about this cup. This is one of my favorite cups. I think I've told the story many times, but 
I bought this cup for a dime. Bought it for a dime at the Habitat for Humanity store. And once upon a time, I was the international spokesperson for the Hu Habitat for Humanity. And we, we built a house here in Transylvania County, or half a house. We raised a lot of money for them. And I got to tell the directors of the Habitat for Humanity about this little cup I'd bought from them. I didn't have two, two dimes to rub together pretty much. And I didn't have any coffee cups and I needed a coffee cup. So I went to the Habitat store. It was on Probart Street at the time here in Brevard. And I saw this little cup and you can't really see it, but there's ridges in this cup where the potter actually formed the cup. And that one dime, I've had this cup over 23 years. And it costs a dime, but it's blessed me many times. And I think about the person that made it. And I tried, I love this cup so much, I wanted to learn how to do pottery. So I took a pottery class, but I wasn't much good at it. But I know those, those finger marks in the side of the cup. And it's had many cups in it, cups of coffee and tea in it. You can see how it's stained on the inside. It's a cup that blesses me. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. So when you find something that blesses you, be thankful for it. Be thankful for it. I've been to Paragosa Springs, Colorado. I ran into a fly baby in the grocery store there. <laughs> it was so funny. I were, I'm down by the dairy section and she looks at me and she says, are you the fly lady? And I said, yeah. She said, what are you doing at Paragosa Springs? And I said, I'm at the Spirit Ranch um, where um, Gary Morris lives and he's shooting a video and I'm cooking. And I made the whole crew. I was about 30 people there. I made the whole crew smother fried pork chops and mashed potatoes country fried potatoes I forget what vegetable we had but they loved my cooking in fact one of them's wife emailed me and said I need your recipe for smothered fried pork chops and I was able to give it to them anyway folks let's draw something out of the hat we got lots of people here out of my little basket Say a prayer for my sister-in-law. She made this basket for me, and she is on a cruise ship going to Spain. So let's see what this says. We can always start where we are. Yep, this is a good thing. Where we are right now, we're in zone one, and zone one is our front porch, our, our entrance of our home, and our dining room. That's zone one. So you can grab your feather duster. Did you see our, our feather duster? This is our newest feather duster. We couldn't get, we were having a problem getting the feathers for our black feather duster because there's a limited supply of those on an ostrich. But they had plenty of these other colors and they put it together with a couple little purple feathers and we have a new duster. We have a new duster. And you can go into your dining room table and feather dust your dining room table. It will take care of the problems. And if you want to go into your bookcases, you just close it up like this and just go into your bookcase. That's all you got to do, just like that. These things will last a lifetime. They really will. So... We can always start where we are. A lot of people want to see the whole system before they ever get started. And that's why I have a sign on my, my wall over there. It's a, a picture of a staircase. And you might have to take a picture of a staircase yourself and put it on your refrigerator to remind you, you don't have to see the top of the staircase to take the first step. 
So be kind. Now, Miss Pat that's on here right now, Miss Pat Johnson, she taught me how to sew. I, well, I remember one time she and I put together a snakeskin maxi coat. She helped to teach me how to sew. She was a precious lady. She was a neighbor of ours. And she took me under her wing and taught me how to sew. And I made everything from men's suits to wedding dresses. And I don't sew much anymore, but I have a sewing machine. It's right back here. And I can open it up and sew. But when your house is in a mess, you don't have time to sew. You don't have time to sew. But we can jump in right where we are. Right where we are. We're having a little network problems. A lot of people don't have cell phone coverage. Don't have internet today. Ben doesn't have internet today. Or when he doesn't have internet, he doesn't have... Um, doesn't have internet, doesn't have TV. So let's drink to starting where we are. I bet Miss Pat still remembers that snakeskin maxi coat we made. It was, it was, it was scary looking. <laughs> that was in the seven. Well, it could have been in the sixties. Could have been in the six, 68, 69, something like that. The delay is fixed. Yeah. We had a little downtime there. So folks, we don't have to see the whole system to be able to jump in where we are. Our habit for the month is getting dressed to lace up shoes. If you can get dressed every day, 15 minutes before the flow of the family, jump in with us. Our habit for last month was decluttering 15 minutes a day. And the habit for January was um, shining your sink. Yep, shining your sink. So folks, we can do things if we just jump in and quit complaining, we don't know the whole system. I got to learn it all before I can even do anything. Nope. You can go get dressed to lace up shoes. You can go get dressed to lace up shoes. That's all you got to do. And then as you establish one habit and the next habit, before you know it, your whole house is going to be shining and you're going to be happy and you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it. How's Ben? Ben, Ben uh, is, he, he's taken, his blood count was good this month, this week, and he got to get his little bag. We call it the baby, so he has to carry the baby with him everywhere. He's got good energy, and he's, um, he, he went to a junk store today and went, did some shopping. <laughs> got a picture frame. It's a lot of fun. So, how long does it take to establish a habit? Well, psychologists tell us it takes 21 days. They don't know fly babies. They don't know perfectionists. What we teach people to do is to practice a whole month. And when you practice a whole month at keeping your sink clean and shiny, that one habit kicks you off to the next one. I, people are complaining that we don't have a fly lady mug. Maybe we need to acquire one. Yep. So baby steps will get you there. They will all the time. And you don't have to see the top of the staircase to take the first step. I may have to bring that, that picture over here and put it right above my head right there to remind y'all that you don't have to see the top of the staircase to take the first step. Are we doing the baby steps? This, yeah, I forgot it yesterday, I believe. Let's see what today is. Today is uh, the third. So I got it marked so I didn't forget yesterday's. Keep your sink shiny and continue getting dressed when you get up each morning. Today is the third, isn't it? Yep. Monday, yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yep. You cannot attack clutter unless you're dressed for the job. 
that's the quote of the day. You can do this. You really can. I've got my stuff ordered for my to go in my bag. I got a new heating pad today, which I'd given Ben mine. We didn't use it much, but if I get sick, I want a heating pad. And I think we're getting a, a little electric blank. Excuse me, a little electric blanket. But I got dinner that's cooking. Can you believe it? I got hamburger meat in the crock pot. Let me tell you how I make my hamburger meat. Robert brought bought six pounds of hamburger meat, and I'm gonna make up some. I'm gonna make some uh, meat loaves too. So I didn't cook all the hamburger meat. I only cooked about four pounds. I put two onions, chopped up onions in it. And I put a little water in it to stir it around. Leanne taught me how to do that. And it's cooking. And I'm going to make a Mexican casserole in a few minutes. Throw it together with um, some salsa and cheese and refried beans. Because I cooked pinto beans last week. And I've got some of those. I've already run them through the food processor. So I'm going to put a layer of uh, beans down in the bottom of my casserole dish and roll up some burritos with some hamburger meat and cheese. And it'll be good. It won't be keto, but it'll still be good. Okay, I'll share with Justin. Y'all want a fly lady teacup. We have had a cookbook, y'all. We've had a cookbook. Yep, and Leanne's got plenty of them. Leanne has plenty of cookbooks. So folks, plan a little, take a little time today to plan your menus for next week and the rest of this week. And let's get the stuff in the house. Let's get it in the house. Robert went to the grocery store twice today, though, because I went to looking for salsa and there wasn't any salsa in the pantry. Well, thank you, Paula. Y'all have changed my life, too. So please share our videos with others. I'll be posting things up on um, YouTube and, and on our podcast. We have an iTunes podcast now. So if you have an Apple phone, you can subscribe to our podcast. I love you all. And don't forget about our sales. And if you want to be a part of our text message system, I, I send out sale messages there. Text the word fly lady to this number, 31996. 31996. Yeah, it's a podcast. And... <laughs> It got approved last week. I was so excited. I was dancing around the house. It's what you hear here when I do my shows morning and afternoon. I put them up on the Apple podcast. And they're on Spotify too. So those of you who have subscribed and you're listening to it now, thank you very much for subscribing. My Facebook supporters, I know I ignore you sometimes, but... Uh, I really appreciate, I really appreciate you being a Facebook supporter. And there's a button here somewhere that lets you be a, lets you be a supporter. And y'all just, y'all, you make me realize that what God put me here on earth to do, I'm doing. And that is a wonderful feeling to know that you are doing what God puts you here to do. You know, when I was... A young woman, I had no clue what I wanted to be when I grew up. I had no idea. You know, I, I knew I was, I was a good student in high school. I made straight A's, except for that one D in American history. But I still graduated pretty high in my class. And I could put together things. I could work on vehicles. I could do lots of stuff. 
I have farmed. I have done accounting work. And every bit of it has has prepared me to be fly lady. Every last bit of it. I had no clue. Until one day somebody said, will you start an email list so I can stay in touch with you? And I did, without even thinking. And the rest is history. And that was 23 years ago. So folks, when you get your house in order, God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you. And you just don't know it yet because clutter's pulling you back. Clutter's keeping you from your purpose. It really is. Drink up, everybody. I love y'all so much. I will see you in the morning. Tomorrow is anti-procrastination day. And you know what that means. You know what that means. It means we're going to get some stuff done tomorrow. We might even pull out the, the super dice and play a game on anti-procrastination day. I love you all. See ya.